India has criticized the United Nations Security Council for being selective in highlighting terrorism and has urged that there should be no double standards in dealing with terror. While raising off linkages between terrorism and organized crime in the Security Council debate, India stressed that the matter needs to be addressed. Take a look. An effective functioning of the sanction committees requires them to become more transparent, accountable and objective. The practice of placing holes and blocks on listing requests without giving any justification must end. These were the critical statements of India during a United Nations Security Council debate on threats to international peace and security caused by terrorist acts. Indian diplomat Ruchira Kamboj stated the double standards and continuing politicization have rendered the credibility of sanctions regime at all-time low. There can be no justification for terrorist acts much less glorification of terrorists, a tendency we have unfortunately seen in recent years in some parts of the world. There should be no double standards in dealing with terrorists. We should refrain from labeling terrorism based on motivations, which will only allow opportunistic forces to provide justification for certain terror activities based on their convenience. While expressing dissatisfaction on the issue of double standards in dealing with terrorists, India also raised concern on the organized crime. New threats to global security are emerging, meaning that people can fall victim to organized crime in an increasing number of ways and in an increasing number of places. Terrorists get benefit from organized crime as a source of financing or logistical support through the illicit trafficking of arms, persons, trucks, artifacts and cultural property. Addressing these linkages has become an increasing priority for the international community. During the UNSC debate, New Delhi stressed the linkages between terrorism and organized crime need to be addressed. Linkages between terrorism and organized crime need to be addressed. In India, we've had first-hand experience of crime syndicates venturing into terrorism and immediately thereafter getting state hospitality in a neighboring country, despite being listed under the Council 1267 sanction committees. Such hypocrisy needs to be collectively called out when the threat of terrorism looms large in each of our countries. Terrorism is a global phenomenon whose destructive potential and lethal reach is enhanced by breakneck technological innovations and an ever-evolving digital landscape. Terrorists are using internet and social media for propaganda, radicalization and recruitment of cadre. Misuse of new payment methods such as blockchain currencies, payment wallets and crowdfunding platforms for terror financing. Domestic measures alone cannot deal with terrorism as long as some countries continue to provide safe haven for terrorists. Therefore, to be effective, the fight against terrorism must be long-term, sustained and global. It must tackle not just the perpetrators of the act, but also who support and sponsor them.